Well, the first seven days of legal recreational cannabis use here in Maryland proved to be quite profitable. Marylanders spent more than $20 million at dispensaries, which could be an indicator of what officials believe will ultimately be a billion dollar industry for our state. Welcome back. Just a week into legal cannabis use in Maryland, medical and recreational users generated $20.9 million in sales much to the delight of dispensaries across our state. It has definitely boosted our business for certain. I mean, I just, I looked at like a week's worth of data and I think we had almost 2,000 new customers come through in, you know, seven days. Recreational cannabis users accounted for a little more than $10 million of sales, which produced a 9% tax revenue. And that goes to fund uh, largely the community reinvestment or care fund, which was established by the General Assembly to help communities that have been disproportionately harmed by cannabis prohibition. And even with that hefty tax, it hasn't stopped cannabis users from capitalizing on the historic launch of recreational use in our state. We're excited, we're optimistic, and we're going to keep working with, with the industry to make sure that, that they're able to meet the demand and, um, and are doing so responsibly. Some of the first customers that were online on July 4th, that I mean, first, uh -huh. that sat in line, they were so excited. Yeah. I mean, the excitement in the air and everybody, right. some people were just like, we just want to be here yeah. just, to, to, just to know we can. Yeah, <laughs> here at Nature Care Wellness in Cecil County, business remains steady as they accommodate medical card holders and new recreational users in hopes that business will continue to bloom and help fund the Community Reinvestment and Repair Fund, which gets a 35% share from the special tax. I think that's great, and that um, if they can really put that money to where they can help the you know underprivileged populations and get that education out there, I think that's phenomenal um, because it's been such a you know taboo subject for so long. Now by year 2025, officials say they expect cannabis to be a billion-dollar industry for the state of Maryland. Starting in January of next year, they will start giving out licenses to social equity applicants who live in an area or have been affected by the war on drugs. And big money there for oh, sure. Yes. All right.